This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the Helpy Customer Help Disk System on a Linux Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. So let's take a look at an overview of the steps covered in this tutorial. So first, I'll show you how to connect to the Linux Ubuntu server by SSH. I'll show you how to update the system repository and I'll show you how to install the needed system dependencies. Second, I'll show you how to download and install Docker as well as Docker Compose. And third, I'll show you how to use Git to download the Helpy project. Fourth, I'll show you how to use Docker Compose to build Helpy. And finally, I'll then show you how to access the Helpy dashboard and complete the post installation setup process. So I've already set up the Linux Ubuntu server in VMware Fusion. So what I'm going to do is to log into the administrator account that I actually set up during the operating system installation process. I'm just going to run the command IP address list grep inet and this should then return a list of the IP addresses configured on the server. So I'm going to connect to the server by running the command ssh administrator at uh, 192.168.0.103 which is the LAN address for the server. So you just need to proceed to type in the server password and should now be connected to the server by ssh. If you if you're using a Windows based device, you'd have to use the party SSH client to connect to the Ubuntu server. So I'm going to run the command sudo su to change to the root user account. And then once I've gained access to the root user, I'm just going to type in the command nano etc and then specify the netplan folder and then go into the 00 installer config.yaml file. So I'm just going to configure a static IP address within this uh, configuration file. And that just makes sure that um, whenever I need to access this uh, system, I know that I have a specific IP address that I'm actually going to be using for that. So um, once you've just also added this config to this file, press Ctrl O, press Enter, and then press Ctrl X to exit out of the file. So you then need to run the command sudo netplan apply so that the new network configuration will actually take effect. Okay, so um, we've set up a static IP address and uh, the next thing that we're actually going to do is to run the command IP address list grep inet. This should then return the current IP configuration. So I'm just doing this just to check and make sure that everything is still good to go. So next, I'm going to run the command apt update to update the Ubuntu system repository. This uh, update process should take about a minute or so depending on the performance of your internet connection. Once that's done, the next thing you need to do is to paste in the command to install the needed system dependencies. So this should then install things like unzip, git, as well as the npm package. So again, this should take about a minute or so and it also depends on the performance of your internet connection. So the next thing I'm going to do is to paste in a command to add the docker gpg key. And then next, I'll paste in a command to add the docker repository to the Ubuntu server. So press enter on the prompt and you should now have the new docker repository added to your Ubuntu server. So I'm actually going to run the apt update uh, command just to make sure that we don't face issues when we then try to install the community edition of uh, Docker. So just type in the command apt update and then specify the Y switch just to proceed with the uh, update process. So um, I'm now going to run a command to actually install uh, Docker and uh, Docker Compose. So just copy and paste that command to then install those two packages. Uh, so once the installation is complete, we're then going to use git to download the Helpy project. So just copy and paste that command to then uh, clone the Helpy project onto your Ubuntu server. So the clone process can take a bit of some time and you just need to make sure that you don't interrupt your internet connection to the Ubuntu server. But uh, once the clone process is complete, we're then going to run a command to build the Helpy project. So type in the command docker compose build and you need to make sure you run this command from within the Helpy directory. So once that's done, the next uh, command that we're going to run is the docker images command just to check to see the uh, image that we've actually just downloaded. So proceed to run the command docker compose app and then specify the D option. 
So the D option actually uh, instructs uh, Docker to actually provision and run the containers as uh, demonized instances. So you just need to wait for the pull process to complete. And once that's done, we're actually going to create a, a host name that will actually point to the IP address for this server. So, uh, but before we do that, I'm just going to run the docker ps command just to check the running containers. And as you can see, we've got that healthy container that is actually listening for connections. So I'm going to proceed to edit the host configuration file on my MacBook. And I'm going to add an entry for the Ubuntu server. So type in 192.168.0.103, which is the IP address for the Ubuntu server. And I'll actually point that to healthy.local. So press Ctrl O, press Enter, and then press Ctrl X to exit out of the file. So if you open a new browser window and type in uh, helpy.local, this should then open up the Helpy welcome page. So proceed to click on the uh, Let's set up your Helpy server button, and then type in your email address. So I'm just going to type in the email address that I usually use for installations like this. You also need to type in a name, and you also need to type in a company name. So I'm just going to type in me, and then specify a password. So this is sort of like the administrator account that is actually used to access the healthy system. So once you've uh, added your options, just click on the Save Settings button. So you now need to add a site name, so I'm just going to set that to me. The site URL, I'm just going to set that to me.healthy.local and then click on the Save Settings button. I'll just keep the SMTP settings and then click on Get Started. So this is the healthy dashboard that we've actually gained access to. So I'm going to create a new user and I'll just set the user as an agent. So the email address, I'll just set that to um, agent at uh, healthy.local. I'll also type in a name for the new agent and uncheck the send invite option. Type in a password for the new agent and then click on the save changes button. So we've successfully created a new agent for the system. So I'm going to sign into the system using the new agent account that I've just created. So I'm just going to type in the details for the agent and then click on sign in. So this is what the uh, agent dashboard actually looks like. I'll actually show you how to create a ticket. So click on new ticket, select a ticket type, and then specify a subject for the ticket. You also need to type in a name for the person who is actually opening the ticket. Specify a phone number and also specify details for the ticket. This can be uh, problems that you're actually facing that you'd like uh, someone to assist you with. Assign the ticket to an agent, set the priority level, and then specify the channel that you'd like to use. So click on create a ticket and it's actually mandatory to specify an email address for the ticket. So as you can see, this is what the ticket actually looks like. And if I sign in to the um, administrator account, because that's the person that I actually assigned this ticket to. So I'm just going to specify a password for that and then click on sign in. You can actually see the ticket that's actually been uh, assigned to this uh, system admin. So in a nutshell, this is a great system that you can use to better support your customers. You can even use it for internal departments, such as your sales, accounting, and IT departments to keep track of uh, issues. Uh, so let me just uh, respond to the ticket. And as you can see, all responses and replies uh, appear in one place. So you have that one central place where you can keep track of issues. So that's been it guys, that's a quick look at how you can install the healthy customer uh, support system on a Linux Ubuntu server in just a few simple steps. Please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and please also share this video with your peers, colleagues and friends. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.